Hey guys, you ever wonder how hot can a bullet get before going off? Well, stay tuned, we're about to find out. Alright, here behind me I have a fire going off. Aluminum pan and a regular um, full metal jacket. What I'm going to do is place it in here, put it in the fire, I have my GoPro filming, and I have a laser to uh, measure the temperature. Alright, well over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have a laser, and we're going to just stay back. One forty-three point six so far. And it's not a, it's not igniting. So it's a, I don't know any place that uh, it's one hundred and forty-three degrees. So far, it's still going. Two seventy. Two eighty-nine. Three twenty. It still haven't gone off, guys. Still haven't gone off. You gotta really cook these. It hasn't gone off yet. 327, 349, 53. 350, 361, 368. It's about 368 degrees in there, and it still hasn't gone. Whoa, there it goes. Whoa! There it goes. Woo! There it goes. Whoa. 286 degrees and it's saying hi right now. It's too hot. 286 was the last recorded. There you go, guys. 286 degrees. It did go up to, at one point to over 320 something. But uh, you see how long it took? 19 minutes. It takes 19 minutes, and it has to be at least over 200 degrees for it to go off. So, um, in order for to, for a bullet to ignite, you got to hit that pin if you want it to ignite faster. But the heat is not going to do anything. So if you leave your bullets inside your vehicle, uh, it's not going to do anything to it. It's not going to go off. I, I did see and heard shotgun shells going off and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to put that to the test next. But other than that, I'm going to see you guys at the range. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. And there you go. Something educational. Uh, we survived. And uh, that's all I got to say. Now we're going to put the fire on and get the f*** out of here.